What's up, guys? We're back with another virtual tour, and uh, we're going to show you somebody really awesome. We really love his collection. We love what he does. And um, yeah, we'll just bring it in now. So this is Tony and Cassie from Hardwired Exotics. So you guys are going to want to stay tuned for this. And uh, yeah, we'll be right back. So one of the things that I'm really curious about and a lot of people that are watching are probably curious about is uh, you just went full time as a reptile breeder and uh, seller. So um, what's your first year being full time been like? Well, uh, it's definitely been a lot better than I was anticipating. Uh, okay. Uh, the customers have been just fantastic. Business has been good. Uh, even even as of right now, that we're what a couple of weeks into this virus crap, it's it's still it's still going okay. Um, mm. uh, you know, we're just now. I think I'm less than two weeks away from hatching the first uh, babies for 2020. So getting ramped up on that. I didn't quite sell out this past year. I think we have like 13 snakes left. Right on. That's close enough though. It's pretty close. Yeah, yep, I got pretty close. Um, I can, I can tell you one thing that's desperately changed for us is I don't plan on doing very many shows this year. Um, okay. We've kind of crunched some numbers down, and less than ten percent of our sales since we went full time have come from shows. Wow. So, uh, it's funny we were just talking with uh, Bob Vu about that, and he's like, if you're producing more than fifty clutches a year. You should probably do shows or do something that um, helps you move animals that way and to be like out there. Uh, but if you're like for us, we don't produce that many yet. We'll be it's possible we'll be getting kind of close this year. But um, if you're selling out online, it's like why the expense? Yeah, it, and that's that's kind of how we broke it down. It's just it's yeah, we do produce some wholesale stuff, but we have so many good friends that are local to us that are trying to do more shows that we can just, you know, hand them the wholesale stuff or they'll trade a higher price animal in um, for some of the wholesale stuff so that actually they make more money and I have less mouth to feed. Uh, now, yeah. it's obviously, it's very few people that we do that with, but uh, it's just not worth it. I mean, we have, obviously, we have a newborn son. We have an eight-year-old daughter. This is what we live off of. So taking you know, all these animals and putting them in a car with all of our lives. If something happens on the road, yeah. it'd be detrimental to me and our family. So right, uh, right. if you combine that with the, the sales that we're doing so good elsewhere, you know, it just doesn't make sense for us anymore. I got you. That makes yeah. And then there's the sense. risk of taking all your animals to the show to get, you know, maybe diseases or mites or whatever can get cross contaminated. Yeah, yeah. definitely better at mail them out. <laughs> yeah. Um, exactly. I, one thing that I was actually thinking about this earlier, it's been so nice not having to spray the animals down for mites and stuff all the time. Absolutely. You know, I don't think I've sprayed our animals in almost two months because I've gotten lazy at it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I just don't have to risk going and taking, uh, taking them to the show and, and bringing them back and having to do all that and you know it, it, it's actually been the quarantine things actually kind of nice so yeah awesome. but, but we allow people to come here too so uh you know we we set appointments up and let people come um oh, we do cool. a lot of local a lot of local sales too it's not just you know shipping them in a box so yeah that's awesome so you, let's talk some of the things you got i know everybody talks to you about blackhead stuff but what's your new blackhead um combo that you got going on that you're talking about so nobody's actually, other than us, nobody's been able to catch the Blackhead Desert Ghost on film yet because it's always in shit. So yeah. you're lucky. It just shit. I'm <laughs> excited. Nice, nice. You're going to get to see this. Hi, Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Blackhead Desert Ghost. Yep. Wow. Super happy with the way this thing turned out. 
I figured that the uh, the Blackhead hypo, as nice as it is, that the Desert Ghost was going to be, you know, even better. So it just makes the colors have so much more depth. Yeah, very very high contrast. Man, yep. I like that. Is yep. that a male? Yep, the only male. You're lucky. <laughs> and you and you sold you sold a, the female to Justin. You so I her? made one point two. I mean, excuse me, one point three. No, okay. I made I made one point two. And he got one girl, and I kept one of the others. So we're not 100% sure that the one that Justin got had blackhead. Uh, pretty sure, but just not 100%. So looking at it now, it's almost obvious that it is. Um, but we held back 1.1 uh, visual desert ghost blackheads. He got by far the best looking one out of that group. Uh, but That's impressive looking. <laughs> yeah, we saw the video. Yeah, but. I know gene stacking is really nice, but I really wanted to, to keep it kind of simple right off the get go so I can start figuring out what works where, you know, a little bit better with the Desert Ghost Blackheads. Right on. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that's a killer combination. I think that um, people working with uh, Desert Ghost stuff in general, if they keep it more simple, it's going to be, you know, finding some killer combinations there. Yeah, I think so. So, but sp speaking, of, I was saying uh, I have a blackhead leopard head desert ghost female that will be seeing the blackhead desert ghost uh, wow. as, as soon as he's ready. Oh, um, that's going to be so, awesome. So that you know we have potential of making the super blackhead leopard desert ghost. Um, oh man! Probably next year. So really? wow! Stay tuned for that. Holy crap! Pretty excited about that one, but. Just to give you an idea of what that could possibly look like, I have a breeder male super blackhead leopard head dream sickle. So we'll show him now. That's and awesome. You can, only, you can only imagine what the desert ghost is going to look like on top of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah good. Pull that one out. Oh, wow. That is a dark snake. Yep. Yeah, so this is the super blackhead leopard, and then he's head dream sickle. So. So what are you planning on putting to that? This the blackhead. Um... Uh, this is a breeder male, so he'll be siring a, a couple of different clutches for us this this year. So, but the other pairing I was telling you about uh, with the blackhead desert ghost, I have a blackhead des uh, excuse me blackhead leopard head desert ghost female that could make this with desert ghost next year. Okay, cool. Right, right. So you planning on putting that to an Enchi combo so you can hit the Starburst Dream Sickle or <laughs> um I actually don't have very much adult dream sickle stuff. So probably not this year. I I would love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, blackhead dream sickle stuff would be Crazy blackhead leopard and she dream sickles. Yeah, that would be awesome. So, <laughs> so that'll bring out the next snake, which is blackhead cinnamon dream sickle, possible leopard. Oh, wow. wow, all right. So, this is blackhead cinnamon possible leopard wow. dream sickle. Wow, not the female girl. Yep, oh man. Wow. And how much are you selling that for? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's awesome, man. Yeah. That's she, a powerhouse. Yeah. She's uh she's pretty fat. She had a small rat yesterday, so I'm not gonna mess with her too much right now. Speaking of that, I mean you have some pretty awesome lavender stuff going on over there, right? Little bit, little bit. Trying to trying to up my game with that, so we that's one of our favorite genes over here. Like what do, what do you got going on? What's cooking, man? Right, so um there's not gonna be much bit I don't know if y'all really follow us a whole lot, but I'm very patient with making hits. So okay. I'm not one of those that that uh tries to make a lot of visuals. I would rather stack the genes and make the hits for crazier combos later down the line. Uh let's start with uh, while we're in the blackhead stuff, let's start with just a blackhead lavender at five. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm into that. Are you? 
So this is a uh, black and lavender hip hop girl. Wow. And, um, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but the, the that purplish lavender color that comes in on the blackhead labs are just the contours. Man, yeah, they're fantastic. So these things just truly get better with age. That's awesome. The white just pops on those combos, man. It's like I don't even know how to describe it. It's a whiter version of white. If you like, yeah, almost like Ben. <laughs> 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 Not that way. <laughs> so you Not mentioned the uh, you mentioned the starburst uh, earlier. Yeah. So I actually have the blackhead inchy lavender from Justin. Uh, yeah. That was the sibling to the starburst. That's wow, awesome, man. We That's were crazy. actually at Justin's house, and I seen it in the egg, and bought it before it even crawled out the egg. <laughs> that's awesome dude <laughs> i knew i knew what it was <laughs> yeah, yeah that's awesome that's cool but anyway we'll uh let me get her out oh man so this is the blackhead inchy lavender so wow. that's that's at like what like six seven hundred grams right now um maybe 500 probably and it's still retaining that coloration too yep that's awesome, man. Wow. That's a beautiful snake. Yep. Something I like about the inchy lavenders that nobody really talks about is the eye color. You know, the inchies normally have that greenish tint to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lavenders normally have the red tint from being albino. So you get this really, like, I don't know, this really crazy eyes with the inchy lavenders. Nobody really talks about that, but. The ones I've seen thus far are super crazy. When you're uh, sending us that footage, make sure to zoom in on that because I'm interested to see it. Yep. Yeah, I'll try to get that on camera. Or Cassie will. She's the one who does all that. Man, that's awesome, though, man. That's a beautiful snake. That's what. That's sort of a – we're aspiring to make something like that someday. <laughs> yeah. So I love leopard lavender. Look at that. The contrast on the leopard lavender stuff is – that's gorgeous. Wow. So this is a leopard lavender uh, hip pod. That's nice. That's awesome. Man, man, man. I'm so jealous. I know. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Right now we only have uh, like just single gene lavender stuff that we're growing up and hets that we've been producing over the years. So hopefully yeah. this season and the following we'll actually start making some combo lavender stuff. Visually. Nice. What you said you have a bunch of head stuff. What do you got head wise? Um, show it, but yeah, I've got uh, I've just got two lavender girls. Then I have cinnamon head, pinstripe head. As far as breeders go, yeah, um, you know most most of these things are between three hundred to eight hundred grams. All the the better, you right know. On. One. This is the Gucci lavender too, but it's in shed, unfortunately. And she is so nice and lavender, man. I agree. Man, I love that. Yeah. I wish it was out of shit. That way you can get a good comparison. Yeah. What? Somebody hit the Super Enchi Lab yet? Yes. I don't know who done it, but somebody's done it. Yeah? So, I got to um, look that up. That's interesting. I bet that's cool. Uh, Let's put it to something a little bit different out of that that you don't really see. Pastel GHI lavender. Oh, yeah. All that's, right. That's a great combo. Yep. So a lot of people don't know this, but pastel actually works great in lavender stuff. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, everybody's really, uh, down on pastel right now, but they're just not using it right. <laughs> yep. I love pastel and, and Desert Ghost. You know, too exantic. You know, there's a lot of that stuff that uh that works so well with lavender stuff. I mean, with the uh, recessive stuffs and and uh, yeah. even redhead. I don't know if you've you've seen much of the redhead stuff, but pastel works good with the redhead. So, I just started looking into the redhead stuff like last month, and uh, it. I definitely want to get involved with that. That's yeah. Do you have redhead stuff? I know that you were talking about that. Yep, got it cooking. Yeah. Yeah. 
Eggs are cooking already, and uh, I actually just had a uh, a leopard lesser het pied female ovulate from a pastel redhead het hypo. So, oh wow! So this is a uh, this is a pastel lesser inchy redhead. Wow, a lesser inchy redhead. Okay. So redhead also works well with inchy and lesser. Which is good because you know a lot of people have that, so um, works really nicely with that. And that's a and uh, redhead is a codon, right? Uh, we don't know yet. Oh, okay. Huh. It's not recessive. We know that, but we don't know if there's a super or not. Right. Huh. Hmm. Cutting edge. That's always fun, man. So this is a orange dream yellow belly pod head lavender. That's gorgeous. Those oranges are crazy. Yep. So, man, man. So there's no Gene X in that? Nope. Wow. That is a loud snake. Yeah. Man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stupid orange. That's so cool, man. Dude, yep. That's amazing. That is amazing. Almost all of these I've showed you are girls. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Rub salt into the wound. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to show, like that you're like, this is something cool that's maybe not a ball python, or this is something cool that we're we're up and coming. Retics. But, not everybody knows that we have retics. You sell retics? We haven't made. I mean, excuse me. I made some years ago. I haven't made any recently. Uh, yeah. But we will be in the next, probably next year. I'll start breeding. Wow. Again. Yeah, I had no idea that you had retics. Are you doing mainlands or are you doing super dwarfs? Uh, just whatever I like. Right on. Uh, retics is, <laughs> the retakes is kind of like uh, something I don't feel like I have to do. Uh, right. Yeah. So, so. Oh, wow. Ooh, this is a uh, Rennick Ghost genetic strike. So That's gorgeous. She, she's one of two females in the world. Wow. wow. Yeah, there's not a lot uh, not a lot uh made with the Renick Ghost, right? Right. Yeah, it's still pretty new. Man, that's cool. This is like a prize possession for me. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, yeah, we didn't know that you had retics, that's for sure. Yeah. But yep. Eggs. Yeah. Wow. Man. You got that many clutches already? Yep. Nice. We have one Dude. and now we're waiting on 11 females. <laughs> so in this room, everything that has a red clothesline, I mean a clothespin on it, has ovulated. Wow. That's a good bit of animals. Man. So. How many uh, breeder uh, females do you have? Um, about a hundred. Not bad. Oh, yeah. then, then this entire rat right here. Man. Wow. So, so it's going to be a banner year over there, huh? Looks like it. I hope so. So thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with us on a virtual tour. You guys have amazing animals. We're going to drop a link down in the description to Hardwired Exotics. He has YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know you got YouTube. I've been trying yeah, to put a YouTube yeah. channel for you. Um, so check them out. They've got a, a lot of amazing animals. Yeah. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. Get the word out. Uh, yep. Subscribe. Notification bell. All that jazz. Thank you guys so much. Make cool. sure you guys uh, go on to, to Tony Thomas's YouTube and hit that subscribe button for him because uh, he's got a lot of stuff going on there too. Yeah. At this moment, I need 40 more. At this moment. 40? 40. <laughs> We're going to get you to 40. Don't worry. We'll get there. I'm, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> In three weeks. Right three on. Weeks. All right. So thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you later. Deuces. So, Tony, um, you've been doing wait, this. Wait, 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 wait. What? Remember, we're cutting right out of the intro, so you got to be like, all right, so...
Like get a little yeah, like, like so tiny. Like no, that. No, that like a little <laughs> You're embarrassing me for my friends. <laughs> this is so, every day. So yeah. I know. All you gotta do is hit the dream sickle a version of that and with Enchi. And you got the Starburst Super Black Kid Dream Sickle. <laughs> yeah, there goes. Uh, say that when we're on video. I'm on video right now! <laughs> I'm so psyched, I can't even... Aww. <laughs> That's so pretty. So this is your other project. <laughs> no. <laughs> it strictly just eats and drinks. Oh, I'm sure it does that more than that. It should. And tears the book. Oh, she'll tear stuff up. That's a beautiful one. That's yeah. awesome. So you watched Tiger King one time and you had to go get this, huh? I still haven't even Actually, watched it yet. I have not. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're missing out. I'll send you some. Oh, I sent you that the music video. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Three <laughs> black labs over here. That's, that's not good. <laughs> it was too big for her anyway. <laughs> if she got, if she got. She got out into the wild. <laughs> no, Tony would strangle me. Oh my goodness.